The Ferry Delta II was a British research aircraft, developed in response to a specification from the Ministry of Supply. The specification requested a specialized aircraft, for conducting investigations into flight and control at transonic and supersonic speeds. The Delta II had a drooped nose and a Delta wing. In the late 1940s, Ferry Aviation had begun to research Delta wing technology, and had submitted several proposals based on the Delta wing concept to the Ministry of Supply. The ministry was interested in testing the concept, and ordered models. In 1947, a specification was issued for a full-scale piloted Delta wing aircraft. This resulted in the Ferry Delta I. After the Delta I, the Ministry of Supply wanted Ferry to continue researching the Delta wing by developing another model. Ferry wanted to produce a manned aircraft, and began developing a highly swept wing twin-engine aircraft. However the ministry was not interested in a twin-engine design, due to their involvement in another project, that would eventually be developed into the English Electric Lightning. In February 1949, it was suggested that Ferry examine the prospects for a single-engine transonic aircraft. By the end of 1949, Ferry had developed a new project, that would eventually lead to the Delta II. The Ministry of Supply issued a specification for the project, and ordered the production of two prototypes. A problem when designing the Ferry Delta II was the lack of available information on wing and intake design. Also, the British government had declared the Ferry Gannett a super-priority, which caused delays for the Delta II. Ferry intentionally designed the Delta II to exceed what was necessary to achieve Mach 1. They also adopted a design that could easily be adapted to future military requirements, making the Delta II a fighter aircraft. In total, Ferry produced two flight-capable prototypes, and one static test airframe. The first prototype conducted its first flight October 6, 1954. It has been claimed that it proved to be an exceptional aircraft, although the same prototype would suffer an engine failure on a later test flight. The pilot could however land the aircraft by gliding, causing some damage to the aircraft. This paused the test program until August 1955. Several supersonic tests were made over southern Britain, resulting in a number of claims for damages from supersonic booms. As a result, low-level supersonic testing over the UK was banned by the Ministry of Supply. Because of this, Ferry moved their testing to France and Norway, where no damage claims were ever received. The testing in France gave engineers from Dassault an opportunity to learn about the Delta Wing. This would later come to use, when they developed the Mirage III fighter. When the manufacturer's testing was complete, the Delta II was used in various research projects and flying trials, and was eventually substantially rebuilt. In March 1956, the Ferry Delta II broke the world air speed record, reaching Mach 1.73. There was an attempt to develop a Delta II derivative to be sold to the new West German Air Force, in collaboration with Rolls-Royce and Dassault. The proposed aircraft was to be capable of reaching Mach 2. But the American lobby proved too strong, and the Germans selected the Lockheed F-104G instead. In early 1958, the RAE and Ferry began discussions about converting one of the Delta IIs to use in testing the new wing type for the Concorde. In July 1960 the program moved to the British Aircraft Corporation, and in September the conversion of one of the prototypes was commenced. In July 1961, the conversion was done, and the converted aircraft was given the name BAC-221. The BAC-221 had a new wing, a new engine inlet configuration, a modified vertical stabilizer and a longer undercarriage. It used the Rolls-Royce Avon RA-28 engine. The new design had a larger fuel capacity, solving an earlier problem with the Delta II. The Delta II had often run out of fuel while still accelerating, thereby never reaching its full performance. But the modified design was not capable of the same performance levels as the Delta II. The unconverted Delta II was retired in 1966, and the BAC-221 was retired in 1973.